Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows 11 Insider program gives you early access to new features and improvements before they're officially released, as you may know. And according to Microsoft, this means that the updates you see in your update history might contain experimental features and enhancements that are still being tested. So in regards to this, Microsoft has posted an article to help people understand the types of updates that they may encounter as a Windows Insider. And I thought this was interesting because although it's applying to insiders, it can also serve as a guide to normal users of Windows 11 to understand the types of updates you may encounter as a regular user of the operating system. So just a quick video to go through and show you the updates that you might find on your Windows Update page and also listed in your Update History page in case you were unaware or maybe just would be interested. So first of all, you get your feature updates which will appear on your Windows Update page and they are normally in a big banner on this page when they arrive. And feature updates introduce new functionalities and improvements to the Windows operating system. And then if we head to Update History and click that, first of all, you get your quality updates, which are your cumulative updates that roll out through Windows Update for your Patch Tuesday as your B-release updates or your optional bug fix C release updates that roll out near the end of the month. And quality updates focus on enhancing the stability and performance of the system by fixing bugs and issues, according to Microsoft. Now, I think that might be debatable um, due to the current state of some of the updates that Microsoft has pushed out, but that's what Microsoft says. Those are your quality updates. And then the next would be your driver updates, which ensure that hardware components work correctly with the latest version of Windows. And then here you get your definition updates, also known as your security updates. And these address vulnerabilities and enhance the security of the system. And these basically roll out almost on a daily basis and are updated and downloaded automatically. And then you also get your servicing updates. And this is something that isn't actually listed on this page. But servicing updates include changes to the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. And I do speak about the servicing stack in a lot of the update videos that we do feature on this channel. Then as you can see, you get your other updates, which are your malicious software removal tool. And that speaks for itself. Basically what this does is it runs in the background after you restart your PC after updating the software removal tool and it just scans your PC without you even knowing it for malicious software. And obviously if it finds it, it'll give you a guide to remove it. And then now you've got Windows configuration updates, which are tied to some feature updates. Those are just placed in here. And then you've got your online service experience pack, which basically is an update as we have spoken about on the channel that updates different components of the operating system like your Windows settings account. So that would be your accounts page in the Windows settings. So that's why these are listed as other updates. And you can see your Windows malicious software removal tool basically rolls out on a monthly basis, give or take. So that's just a quick reference to what's going on with the different updates in the update history and on your Windows update page in case you're unaware. And as mentioned, that article was originally posted for insiders, but can also apply to your so-called average home user. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.